everyone thanks for tuning in so this is a reading for gemini so it's a general reading so only take what resonates with you leave what doesn't so i've shuffled and laid out the cards so we can jump straight into this reading so to start the reading we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and soulmate yes this is your soulmate right so what i'm getting from this reading this reading is picking up a uh, reconciliation so for some of you you have a reconciliation coming up here with someone from your past we have the six of cups here so this is someone from your past Someone that you may have history with, someone that you've known from back in the day. Childhood, you may have went to school with this person or you grew up in the same neighbourhood or someone you went to college with or something. So an ex-lover, yeah, this is, whoever it is, this is someone that's got fond memories of you. You know, they're very nostalgic over you. Remember in the past, this is someone that wants to... That's coming to reconcile here with you. Eight of Wands. So there's communication coming in. Yeah. There's communication coming in. This person wants to talk. We've got the Queen of Swords here. Gemini energy. This person wants to talk here. Because I feel like with the world in reverse. This is a situation. I feel like there may be closure issues between you and this person. Yeah. This is what it is. Maybe this is someone that wants closure. Because I, I feel like this is someone that clearly, um, you know, they, they haven't forgotten about you. I feel like they haven't gotten over you. You know, the Six of Cups here and we've got the Sun, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is someone, I feel like this person is missing you. Whoever this is, they are really missing you. Ace of Cups in reverse. The Sun in reverse. I'm getting that this is someone, they actually feel lost. This is someone that actually feels lost without someone like you in their life. This is someone out here searching for something. They're searching for something because they're on this path now of like self-discovery because they're leaving. They're leaving a situation here that they've been attached to. Probably a karmic relationship for some of you. This is someone leaving a karmic relationship here. Starting a new chapter. They're on this path of self-discovery now. They're looking for, you know, they're looking for a new beginning, new love here. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're searching. Seven of Cups. This is someone exploring options now. This is someone, you know... That's single. Starting a single life, I'm getting. So, yeah, they're out here looking for, for love, looking for a new beginning here. Yeah, but they're lost. I, I'm getting to the feeling of just, of someone feeling lost. They don't know which direction to go in here. They, they're, they're seeking options and... Because... Yeah, this is why, you know, they're being drawn back to you. This is why there's a, a strong pull coming to come towards you because this is someone that feels like there may be unfinished business between you and them. Yeah, this cycle between you and this person isn't complete. There's closure issues. It's, it hasn't fully closed out because... Someone here still has unfinished business with you. This is someone that feels like they have unfinished business with you. This is someone that feels like, you know, you are the one. Leads me to this. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, this is someone seeking a romantic partner. But the partner that they're seeking, they've already met. And for some of you, that's you. They've already met. What they're looking for, it's you. This is why they're being pulled back towards you. This is why they can't stop thinking about you. You, They feel like you could be the one. Yeah, because this is someone very nostalgic over you. They're always thinking about you. 
yeah, they, soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Yeah, for some of you, yeah, you have a soulmate connection here with this person. So this is why they're being pulled back towards you, to come towards you here. This is someone headed in your direction. They're leaving another situation here, closing out another situation and heading towards your direction. Eight of Wands. They're hoping to make amends here with you, I feel. They're nervous. With strength in reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo. Strong Leo energy, sun. And we've got strength. Strong Leo energy here in this reading. Maybe Leo season may be significant for someone here. This person's nervous, though. They are strength in reverse. Whoever this is coming towards you, I really feel like. They don't really have much confidence. <laughs> you may have cut this person out for some of you. I mean, Queen of Swords. You know, maybe that's why there's a lack of closure. Because maybe things, you know, was... This is someone you may have walked away from in the past. You may have cut them out. I really feel like this is someone that don't have much access to you during this time. With the world in reverse. Maybe you've blocked them on your social media or something. Or... You deleted them or, uh, yeah, maybe maybe you guys are not even friends on social media. Maybe you're not even following this person on social media. Like, you you probably try to set up boundaries here, I feel, with this person. Because they're nervous. Strength in reverse. They're not confident. They know that you're probably done with them for some of you. Yeah, because they're confused. Seven of Cups. This is why Ace of Cups is in reverse. This is why they feel lost. Because as far as this person is concerned, you're done with them. But they can't get over you. This person cannot get over you, it looks like. They're coming in, they're coming towards you. They're just pulled towards you, it looks like. But they're just so nervous. They're not confident because I feel like, yeah, you've already set boundaries. In this situation. So I feel like. This is someone. That's keeping their options open. During this time. Because they're not sure about you. Even though they're going to make an attempt though. I feel. But they're still not sure. So they're going to keep their options open I feel. <laughs> I feel. I feel like that's what it, that's what it is. Because this person's not sure. They're not confident here. When it comes to you. Yeah with the sun in reverse. Ace of cups in reverse. Yeah, they, they, I feel like this is someone, I feel like they do have other options. This is someone that does have other options during this time. They may have a lot of options. Yeah. You may be one of the options here, but you're, I feel like you're different though. Compared to all the other options, you are different. You stand out. They feel like you could be the one. You know, but. I feel like whatever happened between you and this person in the past may make things difficult for this person now. There's this boundaries here. I feel like you set up boundaries now with this person. So it's a bit of a challenge. They're not sure. The sun in reverse. Yeah, they're not really positive here about the outcome here with you. This is what I'm getting. So they're keeping their options open, I feel. They're not sure. Yeah. We have wish. Also, yeah, you are the, this person's dreams, dream come true. <laughs> they wish for you. You're someone's wish. I'm telling you, you're the romantic partner that they seek. We've got guidance here as well. You see, this is someone that gets tarot readings done and you, they get readings done. Yeah, this is someone I feel like they're into tarot and because I feel like they don't have much access to you. I really feel like you set up boundaries with whoever this is from your past. They don't have much access to you. They're in the dark. The sun's in reverse. I mean, this is someone that's in the dark when it comes to you. This is what I'm saying. They don't have no confidence because they're in the dark as it is. This person doesn't know 
how you feel, what's going on with you. I feel for some of you, they, they, they do tarot readings. They get tarot readings done to get some insight here. Because I really feel like this person is trying to find a new direction now. I mean, yeah. Guidance. They're seeking some spiritual guidance here. They may watch tarot readings on YouTube here. I mean, yeah, this is someone. Yeah, you guys are similar. <laughs> you guys do the same thing. This is someone there into tarot as well. Yeah, look, karmic. Yeah, this is a karmic uh, cycle here. This is someone that you had a karmic situation with. This is someone leaving a karmic situation. Yeah, they're still in this karmic energy. This is what it is. Release. Yeah, they're releasing a karmic situation. This is what I'm saying. They're walking away. Eight of Cups. They're releasing a karmic situation here that they, they were attached to. And they're starting a new beginning. They're on a journey here. Yeah, third party. Yeah, this is someone exploring their options here. They've got a third party. There's, they're exploring options here. This is someone that is uh, out here. They're exploring options. Yeah. Yeah, but they're in a spiritual journey. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're on a journey here. They rele they're releasing. They're in the process of releasing a karmic situation. Yeah, this is someone on the verge of starting their spiritual journey. This is why they get spiritual guidance here through tarot. Yeah, someone's on the verge here. They're getting guidance because they're on a um, they're starting their spiritual journey. Someone is really on a on the path of self discovery now at this point. Yeah, to connect with themselves. Yeah, we got commitment. So this is someone that is out here. They tend to commit. I mean, they, they're out here looking for someone that they can commit to. This is someone that probably wants to settle down. Yeah, and they feel like you could be the one. Yeah, they, they're being guided towards you for some of you. Spiritual journey, they're being guided towards you. They feel like you could be the one. We've got commitment here. This person may be getting readings done and feel like, and they may be finding out that you are the one. There's commitment with you. Yeah, courage. This is what I'm saying. They lack courage. Strength in reverse. This is someone that's going to need courage, though, with someone like you, maybe. I'm telling you, they're nervous. They are nervous. Lonely. They're lonely. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is someone. They're single. They feel alone. Yeah, they're, they're looking for what, which direction to go in now. Yeah. Hurt. See, I feel like this is someone that hurt you. They could have hurt your feelings. This is why you probably got boundaries now with this person. Because I feel like in the past, this is someone that may have let you down. You may have walked away from this person. This is someone that hurt your feelings. This is why they're not confident. This is why they're not confident here. They're nervous to approach you because of the past. Do they know they hurt you, I feel? That's what it is. Yeah, this is why they're lacking courage. They're lacking courage here. They're not confident because uh, this they feel like it's not going to be easy. Maybe you're not me. Maybe you're playing hard to get. Queen of Swords, you're, it's not easy. It's just not that easy. You want to be my number one. We could be together. We can fall in love. It's just not that easy. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, well, who sings that? Demetria. Yeah, I'm getting that song. That's a channeled song for someone. Yeah, Demetria. It's not easy. What's it called? Easy. Yeah. I feel like uh, at this point, you know, it's like, yeah, like the song says, the words of that song, it says, uh, you're not, yeah, not going to let anyone get the best of me unless they want the best for me. So, yeah, I feel like you're in this energy now where you're guarded. Like I said, you, you may have set up boundaries with this person. 
in this particular situation with this particular person. So you're guarded here. And uh, yeah, I feel like this is someone that may have to put some work in to get you to trust them again or to get you to, you know, to open up, to soften up. Because maybe, you know, for some of you, you might be cold now towards this person. Maybe this person's turning you into an ice cream. <laughs> with, a, with a queen of queen of swords here. I mean, yeah. Maybe this person might have to put in some work. Because this person may have really uh, let you down. They really let you down, betrayed you for some of you. They really hurt you here for some of you. So, yeah, you're guarded. This person may have to put in some work. It may, you know, whatever, what they want with you. I mean, you are their wish. You know, what they want with you, they may have to put in some work. Maybe this is someone that... You're not used to putting in work. Yeah, so it's, it's more of a challenge with you. It's more of a challenge. This person's going to need courage with you. They're going to need courage. They're going to have to be brave, be bold. This is what I feel. Yeah, this is it. What else we got here? Uh, I have secret. I have secret, secret addictions to strippers and prostitutes. Yeah, this is someone. I'm telling you, they have options. This is, this is some. This is someone that may have sex addictions. Yeah, they're addicted to strippers and prostitutes. So I'm telling you, this is someone. Yeah, they they're living a single life right now. They're leaving a karmic situation. They're starting a new journey. Right now, they're just uh, out here being promiscuous, exploring options. Yeah. Trying to drown their sorrows, I feel. I feel like this is someone that's going through a, a very emotionally challenging time. Is it? They're very... Uh, they're going through a lot emotionally. I feel Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person may be depressed. I'm getting. I feel like, yeah, they, they may turn to their addictions here when they're depressed to run their stress. Yeah, they're addicted. They have sex addictions and they're addicted to uh, strippers, prostitutes. Yeah, decisions, you see. This is someone that has a lot of options with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, they have a lot of options here. Trying to make a decision here, which direction to go in, who to be with, who to, you know. They're trying to make a decision. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, this is someone sleeping around out here, detached, physical relationship only. Yeah, they're sleeping around. This is someone that sleeps around. They're promiscuous here. They're just out here hooking up, flirting, hooking up. You know, with people out here sleeping around, yeah, caution. This person, that they, they're probably having unprotected sex. This person don't really use protection. Caution. This person may, this person may have an STD. Maybe this is why they're so nervous. This is why they're not confident. This is why they're not, this, things like this, this is why they're not confident here. This person may have an STD. Maybe that's why they're so depressed. Yeah. Or they're sleeping with people that has STDs. They need to use protection. They are sleeping around with prostitutes, strippers. You know. Sex only. I mean, they're just sleeping around. They may need to use protection. They could be sleeping with people that's got STDs. Or they've got an STD. They could be spreading STDs or they're catching STD. One of the two. Yeah, there's a pregnancy. So one of these people they're sleeping with, one of these options is pregnant. Yeah, they, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't have protected sex. They have unprotected sex. So, yeah, it could be an unwanted pregnancy here because this person's detached. They're not in a relationship here. So it could be an unwanted pregnancy. One of these people got pregnant. Yeah, there's a child outside of marriage or relationship. Yeah, this is someone that may have secret babies out here. 
They're out here sleeping around and just spreading their seed. Just anyone, just getting anyone. This person's, on, this, this person's doing a Nick Cannon. <laughs> just getting people pregnant. they got outside baby here. Secret babies. they also got someone else pregnant now. They're doing a Nick Cannon. Because this is someone sleeping around. This is the issue. Hidden. There's something hidden. It says you got me effed up. You terminated our pregnancy without talking to me about it first. So someone's terminated the pregnancy. So someone want there was a pregnancy. And uh someone's terminated the pregnancy. Try to keep it hidden as well. This person, yeah. Maybe this is uh, why they're leaving the karmic relationship. Maybe this is the, 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 the nail in the coffin here. And they're leaving this karmic relationship here. Or maybe the fact that they got a child with someone else outside the karmic relationship. Is the nail in the coffin. But yeah. Yeah. But there's issues here. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's going through a lot. The people They're getting people pregnant out here. Yes, it's stressful. Someone's health is affected. Someone could be sick. I feel like I feel like someone is sick. They got health issues. They got health problems. It could be stress related. Their health problems could be stress related. I'm getting. I feel like this person, they do go through a lot of depression. I'm telling you, this person is depressed. The sun in reverse. Ace of cups in reverse. They're going through a lot of stress. Yeah, escapism. Yeah, this is someone going through a lot of stress. Right about now, they may be drinking a lot, smoking a lot. Yeah, having sex a lot. Yeah, sex addictions. This is someone turning to their addictions now during this time. They're stressed. Maybe their health problems are stressing them out. They've got a lot of health problems. Maybe they have sex Maybe they have a STD, sexual health problems. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of problems here going on for this person. Oh, and then we've got the Empress on top of everything else. So this is what it is. This is why they're drawn to you because you they feel like you are the one. They feel a strong soulmate connection with you. I mean, this could be a twin flame connection for some of you. Yeah, we have the Empress here. So for those of you in your Empress energy... You know, you are pulling this person in because I feel like you're on your journey of self-love. So I feel like you're inspiring this person to be on their journey of self-love because, yeah, they're in a the process here of uh, closing out a chapter in their life with someone here. So, yeah, they're guided towards you. Yeah, the Empress. They're obsessed with you, fixated. Yeah, they are absolutely obsessed with you. I'm getting for some of you, the situation with you probably stresses this person out as well. They may drink and smoke a lot to escape the pain of the loss of you. This person feels like they've lost you. But they can't get over you. No matter what they do. Obsessed. They're fixated on you. I get jealous. Yeah, there's, uh, there's someone that's crazy about you. They are absolutely crazy about you. You drive this person crazy. They get jealous of you. I feel like you drive this person crazy. <laughs> you drive them crazy here. They're so jealous of you. This is what it is. I want to wake up. I want to wake up to you for breakfast every day. <laughs> this came out in the previous reading. Wow, yeah, they're fantasizing about you. There's a strong attraction for you. A lot of chemistry, passion for you. Wow. Yeah, this is someone fantasizing about you. They can't get over you. They can't get over you. They want to... Ooh, 
let me be your specialist oh my gosh this is what i'm saying this is someone that wants to freak you <laughs> they want to turn you out i'm telling you the thoughts that this person has oh my god they have so much sexual fantasies i'm getting over you yeah this is someone very passionate about you they want to turn you out mate let me be your specialist <laughs> this person's a freak they're kinky wow they want to make love they want support yeah, this is someone that needs emotional support, some sort of nurturing and emotional support. Yeah, they need the empress love. This is someone, this is why they're drawn to you. They need some empress love, some nurturing, healing, you know, to get in that healing and emotional support here. Someone that's loving and understanding, you know, someone that can understand them. They, need, they want support, yeah, this is why they're drawn to you. This is what it is. They want love. They want that empress love. Accepting differences. Yeah, this is... Uh, you and this person are completely different, I feel. You, you could be different in a number of ways. I mean, you could be different... <sighs> different lifestyles. You know, this is someone that, you know, clearly they, they live... They may live a different lifestyle to you because, you know... They live an unhealthy lifestyle here. This is someone that lives a very unhealthy lifestyle. So you guys are different. Yeah, they, I mean, you could have different backgrounds. You guys, you guys are completely different. It's like opposites attract. That's what it is. <laughs> opposites attract. You guys are completely different. Different backgrounds for some of you. Different upbringing. <laughs> Yeah, it could be different nationality, different race, whatever it is, different cultures. You guys are different in some way. You guys are different in, in a lot of ways here. But at the same time, you have a lot of similarities, you know. You can still support each other. You guys are, are similar in a lot of ways. As much as you are different, but you are also similar as well. So it's, it's like accepting differences here because... Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, this is a soulmate connection here. This is what it is. And it leads me to this. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, and then we have accepting differences. So this is what it is in this connection. You have to, it's all about accepting each other for who you are, for who they are. You know, this person has to accept you for who you are. And you, you, may, you may have to accept this person for who they are. They can't change you. You can't change them. You just have to accept it for what it is and try and create a balance here. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Because you are not what this person expects. You're different to what they're used to. You know? Because they're used to hoes and strippers and prostitutes. For like the Empress, I mean, you're an Empress energy. You're different. You're not what they're used to. You're not their usual type. Or expectations. And then they're not what you're used to either. You're not, they're not your usual type or expectation. <laughs> so you guys are going to have to keep an open mind here. Create some sort of balance, compromise and accept each other for who you are. Yeah, because this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And yes, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you guys may be different in so many ways. Yeah, but then I feel like that may be the beauty of, of it. That actually may be the beauty of this situation here because obviously they can learn from you. You can learn from them. I mean, I feel like you already have learned from them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like you inspire this person as well. They can learn from you as well. Create that balance. Yeah, so moving forward here, we have the messages for the guidance for moving forward. We have abundance. So, yeah, someone is manifesting abundance during this time. Someone is going for what they want. Yeah. So, you have abundance coming in. Someone's got abundance coming in here. Someone's manifesting their desires, what they truly want, and they're taking action. So, yeah, abundance is coming in, it looks like. Yeah, communication. I'm telling you, communicate clearly. Yeah. The Eight of Wands, I'm telling you, this person is going to pluck up the courage 
to reach out to you. I'm telling you, this this is a reconciliation taking place. They're going to this communication coming in. Yeah. So communicate clearly, you guys. Yeah, honest conversation. Yeah, face to face would be good. But if not, then make sure the communication's thorough, it's clear. But yeah, this is opportunity for you guys to resolve the issues between you guys. This is a good opportunity for you guys to resolve the issues, any issues that you have. So you can move forward. Yeah. Be assertive. Yeah. So, yeah, someone's taking matters into their own hands. I'm telling you, someone feels like it's now or never. They need to be assertive. Yeah. Stand for what they believe in. Yeah. So someone, they're taking action. I'm telling you, someone's taking action here. Being assertive. They're going to pluck up the courage here. Yeah, that's what they want. They're going to reach out here. Within the next few weeks. Ooh, so not long. Not long. It's a matter of time, you guys. It is just a matter of time. Someone's manifesting here what they truly want. This is what I'm getting. So for some of you, this person is manifesting you back into their life. They really want you. They really want you. They're lost out here without you. This is what I'm getting. This person actually feels lost and sad. Is someone lonely? Yeah, they are lonely. Yeah, that card bit came out. Yeah, lonely. They're lonely. They're lost and lonely without you. So I hope this situation works out here. Yeah, I really do. I really hope this situation works out for the best. You guys can actually resolve the issues, move on, you know, move forward. You guys can move forward in a positive direction here. So uh, good luck. So that's the messages for this reading. I wish you all the best. I hope it resonates. I hope it helps you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like. Click the like button. And uh, subscribe as well to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate your support you guys. So thank you so much. I'm sending you all much love. I'll see you soon.